Argentine President Alberto Fernandez called for unity as the protesters marched to the gates of the presidential palace, lambasting his government over soaring inflation and a crushing national debt. The centre-left president is facing a rising challenge from a militant left wing of the ruling coalition that wants more state spending to ease high poverty levels and inflation. Two moderate allies have left his cabinet in the last month. The South American country is grappling with inflation running at over 60%. Huge pressure on the peso currency and spiking gas import costs that are draining already weak foreign currency reserves. In a speech to mark the anniversary of Argentina's declaration of independence, Ferdinand has uh, called for unity and has asked for different factions to work towards it. Meanwhile, people from across the political spectrum gathered in the Plaza de Mayo in the Argentine capital. Thousands of protesters crowded the historic landmark in Buenos Aires to protest against the IMF and in opposition to the national government. The protests happened amid Independence Day celebrations on Saturday when the left parties, unions and social organizations gave a call for a general strike. The protesters demand ceasing of the agreed-upon payments to the International Monetary Fund, given the South American country's increasing inflation and economic volatility. Argentina has cycled through economic crises for decades. The government struck a $44 billion debt deal with the IMF earlier this year to replace a failed 2018 program. There is a strong resentment against the IMF in the Argentine population given its tight economic policies. Hay que romper con el FMI y desconocer esta deuda porque es una estafa. Las estafas no se pagan y esta deuda es odiosa, fraudulenta e ilegítima. Es un pacto colonial de dependencia, de saqueo, que es lo que estamos viviendo. No, no, hay que romper los lazos con el Fondo Monetario, dejar de pagar ya todo concepto de pago de deuda externa para poder invertir en trabajo, salario, salud, educación, que es lo que hace falta. While traditional left-wing parties packed the Plaza de Mayo, a smaller right-wing group headed from the city's obelisk towards the square. Heavy police security was deployed to avoid any kind of violence between the two antagonistic groups, carrying just Argentine flags and no political party's emblems. They managed to get to the government house to stage their own demonstration, banging pots and singing the national anthem. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.